Welcome back to the Evil Within 2. Let's go try to find our BFF O'Neill. Should be a way into the marrow somewhere, maybe. Here? No? I don't think I have anything to do back here. Well, let's go check. Well, it looks like everything in this world is back to normal. Including the projector, and it looks like we have a slide here. For all I know, that could have been there the whole time, and I just never noticed it. It looks like as we kind of solve the case, we get, like, notes up here that we can read. The bastard smooth-talked himself right into the middle of the plan, just to use it for his own personal gain. His handwriting should have been a dead giveaway that he's a psycho. Jesus. This looks like it was written by the Zodiac Killer. Kidman, I've had a serious conversation with Myra. I am sympathetic to your cause, but I think that further steps can be taken that will solve your problem in more final terms. We just deny a ten outside the Crimson City Renaissance Theater and make sure no one is following you. I'm sorry, how does that look like it was written by the Zodiac Killer? Hmm. This gives me some hope. Seems like he couldn't fool everybody after all. Still need to be cautious. He convinced a lot of people straight into STEM. Crimson Post newspaper article, Silver-Tongued Angel or Guardian Devil. When we first meet motivational speaker, author, and spiritual Sherpa Theodore Wallace, his commanding presence and charisma are immediately apparent. His large, almost imposing, stature contrasts with and complements his open and friendly face. It's this face that has graced the covers of a series of best-selling self-help books and launched a series of so-called spiritual well-being oases known as Mew Centers. But what lurks beneath this friendly and benevolent demeanor? While some consider Wallace a guru, others, religious watchdogs and, more disturbingly, family members of Mew Center congregants, consider him nothing more than a modern-day cult leader. Preying on the lost and hopeless by pretending to have the keys to happiness. Now I'm beginning to understand his M.O. Does the universe seem like a cruel and random place to you? Do you feel like the world is a blah blah blah? Just a bunch of stuff. Join the Mew Center. Spiritual leader and motivational speaker. No wonder he was able to convince everyone he was on their side. Seemed like a good guy on the surface. And then there's just like profiles on the people that I've met. Let's read about O'Neill. Secondary skills, equipment, fabrication, logistics. 5'10, 31 years old. Fascinating. Let's go be disappointed at the fact that I can't pet the cat. I think I've got probably two slides to look at. Hey. Huh? Go on. <laughs> I was about to say, the cat normally leaves when you do this. Aw. Don't shoo away the cat. I'm sure its shadow is much more interesting than these pictures. Yeah, someone told me to talk to Kidman when viewing the slides. I never noticed that. If you look down the bottom right, it says E, talk to Kidman. So I guess you can talk to Kidman about whatever you're seeing. So let's go through it. Kidman, you there? Always. My family was all I had. All I ever wanted. And it was taken away from me. Maybe when this is all over, you can have it back. What about you? I'm sure being undercover all these years affected your family life. <laughs> what family? I never had one. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Damn. Sorry to hear that. Don't be. I got over it a long time ago. Just be happy that you had people that cared about you in the first place. Hopefully they still care about me. Let's work on a way for you to find out, okay? Sebastian's gonna find Lily and find Mira and he's gonna melt Mira's wax and she'll be back to normal and we'll have a happy life ever after and he'll shave his beard. Hey, Kidman. What can I do for you, Sebastian? I never felt the same again after getting out of Beacon. Well, let's hope your second experience in STEM is easier to get over. 
I'm not sure about that. The last time I could tell myself that it was all a nightmare. I can't do that this time. <sighs> I knew what I was getting into when I went in that tub. At least there won't be a systematic campaign to make you think you're crazy when you get out this time. You mean if I get out? Let's assume you will. Even if I do, STEM has a way of sticking inside you, of burrowing its way into your mind. You're better prepared this time. Keep your eyes on the goal. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks, Kidman. You still up, Kidman? No rest for the wicked. What's going on? Thinking about the fire. Everything I believed after that was a lie. Lily wasn't dead. And Myra wasn't crazy. I know it's been traumatic, Sebastian. But think of this as an opportunity. People who lose their loved ones don't get second chances like this. I wouldn't have needed a second chance if Mobius hadn't messed with my life. You can't change the past. But you can start over this time. You should take advantage of that. <sighs> I will. If I can just save them and make it out of here alive. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. Myra was right all along. I should have listened to her, but her theory seems so unbelievable. Unbelievable. But all true. Yeah. And crazier than I could have ever imagined. The truth is supposed to set you free. Why do I feel so trapped by it? Because ignorance is bliss. Once you learn what's happening behind the curtain, you can never go back. That's what happened to Myra. She was a damn good detective. Better than I ever was. She went searching for the truth and it trapped her too. This is your chance to free yourself. To free all of you. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. I've been a mess for so long. Lost years of my life after Beacon and losing my family. You should have thanked me when I found you instead of waving your gun in my face. Yeah, well... It seemed like a good idea at the time. I was still a little drunk. Sorry about that. Don't apologize. I would have done the same thing in your shoes. The past is the past. It's time to make a new future. I like that attitude, Sebastian. Don't let the bastards grind you down. I won't. I'm gonna grind them down. Hey, Kidman. What's up, Sebastian? I was thinking about our first case together. You mean back at KCPD? That pawn shop robbery? You broke that case all on your own. I was impressed. That was all thanks to you. You took me under your wing and showed me the ropes. Treated me like an equal. Wish I had a mentor like you when I was younger. I wanted to help you become one of the best. But the whole time you were really working for them. Someone wanted me in there to keep an eye on you. To make sure KCPD weren't onto us. Too bad. You could have been a great cop. I'm not so sure about that. The personnel report you read when I joined KCPD was falsified. I spent most of my youth in juvenile detention. By the time Mobius found me, it was either join them or rot in jail. Not a hard choice to make for someone just out of their teens. I don't even know you, do I? I've been in Mobius for so long. I'm not sure if I know myself half the time. Something tells me the rebel in you is never too far behind. Did... Did you leave me those presents, Kitty? I thank you so much. Thanks, Kitty. I really wish I could pet you. 700? Each one's 700, that's a lot of goo. Three hundred and ten weapon parts. Might be able to upgrade a damage somewhere. I've got two high-grade weapon parts. That's four hundred. Well, I can't afford any of the damage increases, but we do have the new freeze bolt. I haven't used it yet, but I'm gonna upgrade it anyway because I want to mess around with it, so I can increase the area of effect from one point six to two point one, and then from that to two point six. All 
All right, so if you remember during the boss fight with, uh, what was it, Stefano? Defiance absolutely saved my ass. Remember when they were doing the, like, repeated stab animation and each individual stab did its own little bit of damage? And how he just kept stabbing me and stabbing me? And I wasn't dying because I guess Defiance 1 was saving me with every little knife stab? Yeah, Defiance seems really good. So, I'm gonna spend my red gel and get Defiance 2 which raises your pain threshold, so allows you to survive larger amounts of damage. It's only 8,000. It's actually not super expensive. Ah, uh, so here's the Mobius computer. I thought maybe this was where we came from, but I think the place with the uh, ladder that's all fallen down over there, I think that's where we came from. It must be. Because this... This is the mirror room. And then this over here is the computer. Let's hope the marrow is still there. start to find condensers to make the freeze bolts. This portable condenser unit is used in laboratories to cool gases and condense them into liquids. So we're back where we've been before, right? Or is this a new area? It looks like it might be a little bit of a new area of the marrow. I don't think I have any frost arrows, right? Oh, wait. Oh, right, right, I found one. God, it's so cool looking. The particle effects. That come off of all the different types. Like, the frost one looks... Like, it's got this really nice frost effect. This one's gorgeous. This one doesn't have any effect. That one gives off smoke. That one just looks menacing. It's really cool. Wait, what? Oh, I need to mess with this thing. We gotta flip some thingies. Time to count. Two. Six. One. One. Oh, <laughs> so we just need to flip them all. Shit. Looks like Theodore's been here. Maybe that's why I couldn't contact O'Neill. Hoffman's safe house is nearby. I should check up on her. I like the thought of Theodore just walking through the hallway, and everything behind him just turns into blood and candles and bodies. Just his aura, something about him that just does it.
Hoffman, you here? Another one of these. What happened here? to go to a restricted area of the marrow? It doesn't sound like him. Nope, it's a trick. She's dead. And O'Neill too, probably. Computer file Hoffman's notes. Time as a concept inside STEM has always been tricky. Have I read this? No, uh, but the disappearance of the core and the collapse of the union has amplified this tenfold. The change here, changes here have become even more pronounced since Sebastian left to confront Stefano. I'm afraid that he must have failed. I've been keeping a close eye on things via the security cameras. Not only is Union changing, but the corruption has spread to the marrow itself. It's changing, shifting. Items appearing seemingly from nowhere. Creatures that defy imagination wandering the halls. I'm not leaving the safe house until I have a damn good reason to do it. But who knows how long a safe house can remain safe in here. I like that they put a little excuse in for why I'm suddenly finding condensers and, you know, items that didn't exist before. Stuff is changing. Items appearing seemingly from nowhere. Shotgun pouch, 16 shots. Okay, room's looking nice, bloody footprints, pools of blood everywhere. So many high grade weapon parts. I really need to just like save up a lot of weapon parts so I can actually afford something with the high grade weapon parts. Everything locked behind the parts costs like 400 parts. That was a very ambiguous sentence. Ooh, I'm out of bottles. I don't like it. Alright, what's gonna happen in the elevator? Oh, nothing. Hmm. Hmm, Looks I like they had extra security for this place. I see pulsing flesh bubbles.
computer file security protocols. Due to the sensitive nature of the experiments being conducted, this lab the laboratory is only accessible to Mobius operatives with a proper Unity Cerebral Chip designation. Please observe all security protocols when entering the laboratory and be aware that your clearance level also binds you to top secret non-disclosure tenants as outlined in your enlistment contract. Any operative attempting to access the laboratory without proper clearance will be subject to, to corporal punishment as outlined in the Mobius security bylaws. We have a new slide to check out. Kidman, it's me. Read you loud and clear, Sebastian. Mobius. A name. That was all I had to go on. Every avenue I pursued led to a dead end. And now I find out that they're everywhere. Hidden in plain sight. I don't understand how. I told you before. You don't find Mobius unless they want you to. They've been around for a long, long time. They know what they're doing. We knew you were looking. We were watching you. And we were able to stop you every time you got too close. Why? Why do they do this? People need leadership. People choose leaders. What Mobius wants to do isn't leadership. It's imprisonment. They know this. If they own all the media and politicians already, they should be out in the open. They hide in the shadows because they know what they're doing is evil. If people knew the truth, they'd burn Mobius to the ground. Maybe you're right. But if people ever did find out the truth, who would believe them? Yeah. The easiest way to hide a conspiracy is to make people think there's no such thing as a conspiracy. Oh, thank you. Oh, do I get gel every time I find a new slide? Holy hell, that is gorgeous. Look at those pristine walls. So different from anything I've seen before. This game's really good looking. Those reflections are gorgeous. All these tanks. What's this about? I'm sure I'm going to encounter some sort of new type of laboratory monster down here. I mean, look, this tank's open. Obviously something got out. without one of those chips. Gotta be one around here somewhere. I wonder if I'm gonna need to like cut off a dead operative's head or something. What 
What the heck? What just happened? I just went to get her goo and it teleported me over there. I'm not hiding very well. I hear him all over the place, but I don't see him. I don't think there's that many of them. This is the one, this is the time. starting to like the predator ability. Irregularity studies. The phenomenon has become more prevalent. We have dedicated the entire laboratory wing of the Marrow to studying it. Citizen transformations have become quick, violent, and even more obscene. They are mutating into forms that can't even be considered humanoid. They have lost any semblance of humanity altogether. We have dubbed these affected citizens the Lost. We have determined that the last phase before metamorphosis involves the belief that they are being pursued by some invisible but inescapable force. Once they have succumbed to this force, their transformation begins. STEM is an artificial construct. There are no viruses, bacteria, or contagion here. The lost phenomenon is therefore a mental process. We are still in the dark as to how it spreads and to whom it will spread next. Perhaps the trigger was present in the subjects before they ever entered STEM. Further research is needed. Oh, wait. If the pre- oh shit, I just realized if the precursor to, <laughs> um, to transforming is the feeling, the belief that there's a force coming for you, is that exactly what Sebastian's been experiencing with that like ghostly woman? Well, that's not good. Ah. I see him.
Mm, I don't want to throw a bottle because I think the one over there will probably hear it. Sounds like they're right here. Are they invisible? Are they up a floor? They must be up a floor, because there's stairs. I think I've explored everywhere down here. Well, I haven't gone in there. But, uh, let's check up here. Something's gonna wake up. What do we have here? Yep, I'm gonna have to like activate a machine and cut the brain out or something. Knew it. Operative case. Our worst fears have been realized. The lost phenomenon has spread to Mobius operatives. We have theorized that the transformations were a result of memory override, but no operatives have been overwritten. We were able to quarantine and terminate an affected Mobius operative before he could transform. Perhaps his exposure to so many lost corpses in the pit made him susceptible to whatever is causing this. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. We are harvesting his Unity cerebral chip in the hopes that it will provide new data. Removal of intact cerebral chips is possible with the extraction device. It's a relatively simple and automated process. Merely place the subject on the gurney and enter the extraction device's activation code 0128. If they haven't removed this guy's chip yet, I can use it to get through that door and find Hoffman.
Oh. All right. Oh. Thank God he's already dead. I gotta get out of this lab. Of course. Yep. Hmm. Quite a few empty tables there now, huh? I don't really understand how the extraction process worked, by the way. Okay, it drilled into the head. That gives you access to the chip, but how did it extract the chip? You need some sort of a grabber arm or something. Maybe the tip of the drill is magnetic and it just stuck to the end of it or something. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Five missing. Oh, Christ. She's turning around. It's alright, this will work out for the best. <laughs> that really did work out for the best. I don't think there's any more up here. We got a lot of strong ones. I can hear them. Oh shit. such a thing. 20% of Union's populace has succumbed already. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. Our efforts have been in vain. The core escaped less than a day ago. Within hours, we began to receive reports of lost emerging in staggering numbers. They're everywhere now. 20% of Union's populace has succumbed already. And they're actively hunting down and killing whoever is left. It's a nightmare. At this rate, there will be no one left in two weeks. We've lost contact with Mobius. We're trapped in here. With the lost. It's too late to stop now. The entire Union experiment is doomed. We're all doomed. I'm sorry. One more up here. Okay, let's go downstairs. Got a lot going on down here.
course they come up here. It's just a big one now. No, no, I heard another one too. And I still need to check that place out. Join the party. There's a bunch of them down there. Oh, wow, well, like four. This is a bad place to be. Just for the fun of it. Wow, that's satisfying. I know I already went back here. Just wanted to check again. Okay, before we continue on, let's go check out this place. Are 
these Union citizens? What was Mobius doing with them? I feel like this is going to close behind me. Is that the pit they mentioned in one of the files? How the Mobius operatives like being in the pit so long, in contact with so many bodies? They're theorizing that might be the reason why the Mobius operative got infected, started to transform. <sighs> yeah, I think it is pit observatory. It's lonely in here, and creepy, dumping these bodies, these things, into this pit. And they just keep coming. How did I end up with this detail? Been hearing things, voices, coming from the pit. But that can't be. But if they aren't coming from the pit, then they're in my head. And that's even worse. Our all hallucinations is one of the symptoms. But I can't be infected. It's not a virus or bacteria. It's a mental thing that only infects citizens whose memories have been rewritten. At least, that's what they told me. Shit, I've got to keep it together. It's just loneliness that's making me think like this. Loneliness and being around these freaky corpses. It's not the phenomenon. This would be the person shortly before they were transformed. Oh no. It's coming. I gotta get out of here. And if that didn't drive it home before, this definitely drives it home that yes, Sebastian is becoming infected, I guess. Just make a run for it. I'm gonna make a run for it. We're going. We're not going. Not that way. We gotta go the way that has like no pillars and no cover. Okay. Is it going to see me from up there? Can't imagine there's anything good up this way, right? Nope. 
I guess we just gotta go. hesitant to hide behind those things because they move so often. Hmm. I think we gotta go all the way around. Just dead. Uh, I think I'm dead. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm dead. I thought I was just making creepy noises. Let's just cry, try, try going this way initially. Oh wait, you can't get past there. Nah, that doesn't go anywhere. Wait. Wait, where do I go then? This is after the reorganization, isn't it? If that's cut off, then... Can I vault over? Can I vault over that? I probably can. Oh no, I could just go this way. Okay. Hmm. Wait, so where do I go now? Do I just like sneak in past it? I mean, I don't think I can sneak past it. I think I have to run past it. There's like a little gap there. No, that doesn't go anywhere. Where do I go? Oh, I just need to go forwards, don't I? Oh,
thing again. Why is it after me? What does it have to do with this place? Oh, it's the bottom half of the psychological report that I read a long time ago. Uh, to be kept on duty and observe the information gained from his experience in STEM could be invaluable for the organization. It has been posited that STEM immersion can have long-lasting residual effects. Detective Castellanos is unique in that he has entered and left STEM without standard preparation or memory override. We can learn a lot about the mental repercussions of STEM use simply by letting him go about his business while we observe from a distance. I will continue to track Det Detective Castellanos' mental state via our mandated therapy sessions and will report any findings to the organization on a weekly basis. Walter Harrington, Psy Division, or Psy D, whatever that is. Damn. Mobius were using me as their guinea pig. Long lasting residual effects. They knew Stem would scar me like this. Letter from Police Chief. Jim here, just a quick note to give you an update on the Castellanos Beacon situation. We're sending Sebastian in for mandatory counseling. The Beacon incident needs to be kept under wraps and a good detective is our only loose end. We have many operatives in KCPD, but not enough to ensure total information blackout. Fortunately, our staff psychologist is on the organization's payroll. Once we determine how much Castellanos knows, we can easily instill self-doubt through these sessions. When we're through with him, Sebastian won't be sure if what he witnessed at Beacon was real. Not that he needs much help, he's been stumbling through his assignments like a zombie. Poor son of a bitch is obviously having trouble dealing with whatever happened to him in there. I almost feel bad for him. I've known the guy for over a decade. It's like he's a different person now. That's the price of progress. If you want to make an omelette, you gotta break an egg or two. Kidman was right. They're everywhere. They were right under my nose the entire time. A way out? Good memories. stuck in stem never getting out no i'm wrong i will get out but without you that really is how sebastian solves everything what was that it felt different than the others more real like something changed i feel good Huh. My trusty revolver. Whoa. I haven't seen you in a long time. Wow, I'm glad I went here. I wonder if there's different endings. Like, I wonder if you do all the... All the extra things, something extra happens. So, I have the revolver now? Oops. Yeah. Huh. Oh, 
Of course, it magically holds 10 rounds just like all the others because I upgraded it, even though it doesn't have 10 chambers. <laughs> but let's not talk about that. So, anything special about it? I mean, I'm assuming it's special. It's less accurate than the semi-automatic handgun, but it does more damage. It uses the same ammunition as the semi-automatic handgun. More damage. I'll take it. Even though it doesn't have a laser sight. Yeah, I'll take it. It's not like I use it from afar anyway. I don't really use any weapon from afar, for the most part. Except, I guess, the sniper rifle and maybe the warden crossbow. Alright, I'm going to assign that to number one. More damage means more efficient per bullet. Open that. Collect the things. I love the effect through that. Clear but distorting. Shotgun? Wow, I'm full on like everything. Well, well, just shotgun and pistol, I guess. Emergency fire. Ooh, that's gonna wake up. That's like definitely gonna wake up. Get a good look at it though. I really do love the monster designs. I can't pick up any of the ammo. It feels so wasteful. I need to shoot something. That's why there's the uh, Liam, fire don't. things. What do you mean, Liam? Stay back! I think he's pretty well transformed. I, I don't think there's any coming back from that. I mean, look at him. Oh, I thought that was attached to your. Oh, it was attached to your face. Ew! Stay out of my way, Sebastian. O'Neill, what happened? Theodore showed me the way. I am his now. I helped him hide. And in exchange, he gave me a new life. I finally get to kill O'Neill, yes! A life as a slave. You'll never understand. For that, you'll burn! <laughs> Getting too hot in here. Like to fight me. Gotta put the flames in. 
Can I turn the fire things back on? Oh sweet, I can. You won't get out of here. He commands that I take care of you. You can either die or change like me. Is it even taking damage? My bullet combo, you asshole. Oh, it disappeared. Let the flame consume you. Asshole. Oh, oh, uh. ooh, ooh, that doesn't look <laughs> oh, Am I just dead? You don't deserve it. Okay. <laughs> I was like, maybe Defiance 2 will allow me to survive my entire chest being impaled and burned. No. Oh. Gotta do the whole thing over again. Alright, that's fine. Alright, please just let me skip it quickly. Yes. Stop running. Getting too hot in here. You must be clean. the flames out. It's gonna take more than that to stop me. My pistol ammo. Uh, that's it. I'm done playing with you. Wish I had some frost bolts left. Uh, oh fuck! Good to fight me. I'm not weak anymore, Sebastian. I w won't go down easy. Like me! Yes, Father Theodore. I told him. Alright, that should be a nice present. Apparently, they don't know where I am. Let the flames consume you. I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm sorry. Stop. 
I won't let him get away. I promise. Now you know what to do, Sebastian. Finish them off. Come on, you can do it. Thank you, S Sebastian. Uh, finally, free from his voice. From my fears. I was so scared. You've got to stop him. I can't stop him if I can't find him, O'Neill. He face shifted. He's not here. Not anywhere. The machine in the room next door. You've got to destroy it. What machine? He made me build it. To hide him. Destroy it. So that you can destroy him. What happened? How did O'Neill get turned into that thing? I don't know. I've been locked in my safe house since you left. When Liam called and asked me to meet him, I was so relieved to hear his voice. But he wasn't Liam. He was that thing. I tried to get through to him, but... You heard him. Theodore Wallace did something to him. Poor guy. I didn't want to have to kill him. I did. You didn't have a choice. Theodore wasn't going to give him up. So what now? Let's take a look at this machine O'Neill was talking about. I think it's on the other side of the room where you found us. Let's go. Yes, Matt. Will he get a flamethrower? Oh, it's broken. Flamethrower's fuel tanks are damaged beyond repair. You'll need to find some replacement before you can use it. Weapon seems to use custom-made parts. You'll probably need to find a similar weapon to salvage the tanks from. You have a feeling that you're not going to find one just lying around, though. So what does that mean? If I'm not going to find one just lying around, then where would I find a replacement? Flamethrower. I could use this, but it's broken. If I found the right parts... All right. A lot of ammo around this place that I didn't pick up. Now I actually can pick it up. That thing actually didn't wake up. Yeah, 
It looked like so much ammunition, but it really doesn't add up to much, does it? Ah. The hell is that thing? Uh, Sebastian, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> If I move just right, Sebastian doesn't know where to put his arm. <laughs> anyway. Well, I think that's a pretty good place to end the episode. Looks like it's running super long. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I'm going to destroy the device.